Hey, it is not Wednesday or Thursday. It is Friday. Happy Friday. I'm sorry uh, that I am just now making the video, but hey, give me some grace. I got a lot going on, but what I want to talk about today is something I get asked a lot, and it was like, what was your life like when you left the adult film industry? And then most people think um, that I left the adult film industry because I became a Christian, and that's actually not true. Um, I had some severe, severe depression. I had suicidal thoughts, and I heard someone uh, speak to me, and reflecting back on it, it was God, but I, I experienced someone saying my name, and it sounds like not a big deal, but in the adult film industry, you more often than not have a stage name. Some people will use their first name and change their last name, so it's not as, uh, I guess, like mentally challenging, but like this was important for me. Um, so I went by a stage name, and neither one of those names were my actual name. And the deeper and darker I fell into depression, um, the more I distance myself from my friends and my family and then ultimately just people in general um, I had friends that lived in the very building that I lived in that I wouldn't respond to text I wouldn't just come hang up hang out and um, have a drink or uh, watch some football or, or whatever I would more often than not say no because here's what I believed I didn't believe that I was a good person I didn't value myself. I felt like I should be rejected. So I rejected people before they could reject me. I believed that I had little to no value. And because of what I was doing, my value continued to decrease. And I didn't see a way of changing that. So my depression got darker and darker. So some people might have saw my career. And I see I, I made drastic changes. I was... Uh, one of the most popular uh, straight film actors at, at the time. I was doing close to 250 films a year. Um, I was one of the top paid guys. Uh, I won you know, Performer of the Year. Um, I was doing incredibly well measured by the success of finance and accolades. But the reality was... I was sinking into a pit and it was getting darker and I, I didn't see a way out. And honestly, I, I asked the God that I vaguely knew um, if I could die. God, please let me die. It's something I said multiple occasions. So me not hearing my name for a long time because I, 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 I separated myself from my family and my friends and I only heard my stage name because those were the only people I was around and that was when I was working on set. And then no one called me by my actual name. I walked into a bank one day and with a eerie amount of kindness, a woman looked me in the eye and said, Joshua, is there anything else I can do for you? How can I help you? And she said that after I had cashed a check, right, or deposited a check. So the transaction was over. So there's nothing that, like, there was nothing that she was needing to help me with. I had already got my receipt, you know, and the transaction was over. But she looked at me and said that with an intentionality that gave me chill bumps. And it gives me chill bumps right now. Because what I heard was my name said with intentionality and care for the first time in a long time. And it broke me. It crushed me. I went home and I wept and I cried and I looked in the mirror and I said, what in the hell have I done with my life? It made me realize that I had missed several events in my mom and my brother's life after I had promised them I would always be there. I had let my family down who had busted their tail to allow me to go to basketball camps and acting camps and take photos because you know I I 
that's what I did. I, I played basketball. I wanted to play basketball in college. Um, I wanted to act and model. And I was able to do all those things because of my mom. Because of my mom, when we were in government housing, I was still wearing Jordans. Because she was willing to sacrifice everything so that I could have something that I wanted. And I'm not advocating irresponsible spending or not being a good steward of your money. But what I'm saying is my mom gave me everything and she sacrificed a lot to do that. And I realized that the life that she was trying to give me, ultimately I threw it in her face because I walked away from all of it. And to some degree, um, I, I damaged it. You know, I, I dropped out of school. I, I dropped out of school. Um, I was going to play college basketball. I was on the team. I was practicing. Um, you know, that it was it was going well. It was going it was going on. You know, it was going in the direction that I wanted to go. Um, but then I just walked away. Um, I was doing okay at modeling. Um, doing okay at acting and. Because I, I did the films I did, all of a sudden, uh, agencies wouldn't represent me. Um, when I would get hired, they would, uh, you know, scream my name and films would pop up and all of a sudden, uh, I wasn't the perfect person for the role anymore. Um, so, that's what happened when I, when I left the industry. I, I realized that I had made a mistake and it, it hurt people. And it took me a long time to accept God and accept who I was. And that's a, that's a really long story that I would love to tell. But today is a special day because today, um, today I uh, proposed to my wife five years ago and I got her these flowers. So I'm about to go inside and give her those. Um, but... I'll make a longer video next week. I love you guys. Take care. Stay blessed. Hello!